What's up everyone, this is Ali Talks Tech, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your Apple Music audio way, way better. And I'm talking an insane amount. So there's so many tips and tricks you can do. This is such a short video, but because you just change these four things or so, your audio is going to be incredible. So first thing you want to do is open up your settings. And if you want to have like, it sound like heaven is playing music, this is what I personally do. It sounds really good on your car speakers, desktop speakers, or you have like nice headphones. This is how you get the most out of it. So tap on the music um, app inside of settings. You just scroll all the way down, tap on music. And from here, what you wanna do is where it says Dolby Atmos, you wanna make sure it says always on. Now it says not all speakers are supported, but it will make your audio quality much, much better. But that's just not all. That's just one little thing you can do. And Dolby Atmos is really good. Where you see where it says audio quality, you wanna turn on lossless audio. And you see where it says high quality, you wanna bump it all the way up to high res lossless. Boom, all right? Now we're getting somewhere. Where it says uh, 5G and Wi-Fi streaming, boom, high res. Now the issue you may encounter is your um, your songs might take longer to load and I'm going to show you how you can fix that. So you want your downloads to be high res and lossless so you can download your music and it will sound way better. Um, your EQ, I recommend you personally mess around and listen to a song that's really good and just click each one and find which one is best. I like using R and B, um, figure out which one works for you. I keep sound check off. And then from here, what you want to do is you want to make sure download Dolby Atmos is selected. Okay. And then from here where it says animated art, here's the problem. Because your phone is going to be using so much more data. I mean, it's not going to be using a ton because it's streaming a song, but for streaming music, it's going to use way more data. You would want to have animated art turned off and that's that way. Um, it doesn't have to transfer as much data so that way you can get more, you know, bandwidth essentially uh, towards your music and not the album art. So that is something you can do. And there's one more trick to get insane audio quality. And you want to go to your accessibilities on your iPhone settings. And from here where it says um, you want to scroll down, there should be an audio section, hearing devices or audio and visual, you wanna make sure mono audio is turned off. So that way you get really good acoustics. If this is on, then if a speaker's playing something in the left ear, uh, you'll also hear it in the right ear. So if you turn this off, it's really good. If you turn this on, this is for people who might be deaf or something in one ear and they wanna hear the full song. But if you don't have hearing loss, it's suggested to turn this off. Anyways, that is how you get the most out of Apple Music. Thank you for watching. Peace.